Hi guys, it's Izzy. Um, remember me, you probably don't because it's been ages since I've sat down and filmed a video and I thought, can't have that. Can't have you guys forgetting who I am. So I thought I'd sit down and do a little re-get to know me video. So I'm gonna do 25 facts that you probably don't know about me. I've actually done this video like twice already, I think, a couple years ago. I think the first video I ever filmed by myself on YouTube was the 25 facts about me video. And then I did another one a couple years after that. And yeah, as you can tell, I'm no longer brunette. So times have changed and I thought it's time to do a refresher 25 things about me again video. So my first fact is that I once gave myself a chemical burn on the roof of my mouth by eating six packets of quavers in a row and I didn't know quavers could actually have the ability to give you a chemical burn but turns out if you eat enough of them in a row they can. And number two is that one of my first memories is when I was like two or three, like literally every single morning before I got out of bed when I was like a toddler, I would lie in bed and I'd just lie there and I'd make this noise until I got up. Uh... Yeah, until my parents would come into my room and literally be like, Izzy, get out of bed and stop making that noise, please. Number three is that I've lived in Liverpool for two years now. I'm just back for the Easter holidays. We're here. Four is that my favourite cuisine in the world is Indian food. Oh my gosh, you cannot beat a samosa in anywhere or an onion bhaji. Oh, oof, oof. Number five is that I love piercings, but my body seems to reject every single one of them. Literally every piercing that I've kept, like my nose and everything, I have just kept through sheer willpower of not wanting to take it out. Sometimes they reject though, like RIP my collarbone piercing, I've still got this one though. Yes lads, but yeah, they fall out all the time. Number six is that I literally don't have a form of eating or sleeping pattern. Like I could fall asleep right now, even though I've just slept like a few hours ago. I could like, just fall asleep and I could eat at any given moment of the day. It literally, my body clock is just non-existent. Number seven is that, oh, how times have changed, but I was so, so shy in school, like you would not believe. People used to think that I was like a mute and everything. And one time, because I was so shy, I had to give a presentation in class and I started crying during it. <laughs> I'm so cool. Number eight is that I've performed on the West End three times and honestly, I cannot even tell you how I managed to wing my way into that one. <laughs> Number nine is that I'm the biggest hypochondriac in the world. I legitimately think I'm dying about three times a week and I go to the doctor more than anyone I've ever, ever met. Like in hindsight, I can always look back and be like, oh, I probably didn't have hypothermia that one time. But at the time, when I think I've got like every disease on the planet, I think that is it's actually quite scary. Like I think I'm dying about three times a week and I wish I didn't have that mentality. Number 10, this one is gonna be a controversial one. And I'm not even saying it to be like, difficult or controversial or anything. I'm just saying it because it's genuine, but I just cannot for the life of me find Brooklyn Nine-Nine funny. Like literally, I just don't find the program funny. I've really, really tried as well. I've watched like so many episodes of it. My sister's forced me to sit down and watch it with her and I've not even uttered a chuckle at any point. Like I've literally tried to. I've gone on YouTube and I've been like funniest Brooklyn Nine-Nine jokes and stuff and I've watched them and then I've just watched the clip and to me it's just a load of people talking and then the clip ends and I'm like, I literally can't even see what the joke was and that, like it's just people talking on. I just, I just don't find it funny. Um, my family literally only have one face and when I say that I literally mean my grandmother's genes must have been so strong because this is my grandma, this is my mum and then there's my sister and I. <laughs> I was so difficult as a child, like in general I used to hate nature and I used to hate like going outside and stuff so I used to cry every single time I would see or touch grass, like I don't know how my mum actually used to put up with me, like I could never go to the park or anything as a kid because I would literally just start crying if I touched grass, I was like can I go inside and watch telly please, I don't like outside and to be honest I've not really changed that much, I still hate going outside. <laughs> Number 13 is that it took me thir uh, 13 times, 3 times to pass my driving test and yeah I'm second driving test the instructor actually had to emergency stop on my behalf and the thing is I already had two majors at that point. Um, I've come up with a nickname for my drum called Torigo because she ruins my life. Um, she is called Isabella Nightway and I'm not responsible for any of the decisions that Isabella End makes. And number 15 is that Isabella End makes many bad decisions but the worst of all is a drunken purchase that Isabella End made. Um, yeah I went to Asda with Charlotte my housemate. Shout out Charlotte thanks for not stepping in and not not, yeah, you should have stepped in, but you were just on the same level as me. So yeah, we went to Asda, we were supposed to be picking up mixers for um, pre's, but instead we spent all our money, and I mean all our money, on buying two giant gnomes for 
£30 each. Um, Charlotte didn't have a card on her, so I ended up buying them. Um, so yeah, I spent £60 on garden gnomes instead of um, anything else. So yeah, um, they're still sitting in my uni house. They're called Henry and Henrietta. Shout out Henry and Henrietta. Um, and yeah, now whenever I complain to my parents about money, they're like, Izzy, why can't you afford to do your grocery shop? And I'm just like, uh, I don't know. Um, the last thing that me and my sister fell out about is that I prank called her. Um, I might have taken it a bit too far because I was kept phoning her off a unknown number, like I just kept ringing and then she kept answering the phone and then no one would be there, like I'd just be like laughing on the other side of the phone, I was like... Anyway, I kept doing that to her one evening and she was home alone and it freaked her out so much that she actually left her house in like the middle of the night, so um... Then I rang her again I was like, oh, I'm joking, it's only me, and she was like, are you serious? Um, she actually really fell out with me about it, but um, jokes. Um, number 17 is that when I was younger, I was so, so desperate to get into Hogwarts at any, at any expense I could get. But I was like, I'm a muggle. <laughs> How can I get into Hogwarts? So yeah, when I was younger, I used to write letters to Dumbledore. I literally used to be like, dear Dumbledore, can I come to Hogwarts? Love, Izzy, XOXO. And then... I thought somehow I could get them to Dumbledore by throwing them out my bedroom window so I'd just go out onto the main road outside my house and yeah I'm generally intrigued if anyone's ever come across one of them letters Number 18 is that I'm such a gamer girl, especially recently Recently I have re-downloaded The Sims 3 onto my laptop and it's become my addiction because who wants to live real life when they could just play on the sim? Number 19 is that one time I put on fake tan that was really really out of date and it's probably still looked better than the tan that I've got on at the minute but we'll ignore that just for the sake of the story. Um, so one time I put on fake tan that was out of date, I didn't really see it, I was just sort of putting it on. Then I looked down and it was green and then I had a green hand or arm for a little while, I tried to wash it off but it had already stained so I literally looked like Izzy the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Number 20 is that I once caused £111 worth of damage to my bathroom just by flushing a wet wipe down it. Uh, Dad, I just love spending money I don't have on useless stuff like that. Number 21 is that I have an uber addiction and when I say I have an uber addiction I mean that last year I spent more money than I actually earned last year on ubers alone. So let's just take a moment to appreciate that. I made a loss on just ubers. Like the only thing I spent more money on last year than Ubers was my rent and yeah I literally had to go into my savings and spend all my savings because of the amount I used Uber because yeah I literally spent Uber more than my food, more than going out. Like I, I, I actually made a loss last year just because of the Uber app. Number 22 is that my mum's nickname for me is Bellchen, which actually in German means little ball and I, I've tried asking her why she calls me little ball but she's done it my whole life and I'm just used to it now, I don't even bat an island when she calls it me. And number 23 is that I'm finally, finally out of my all black phase like I used to only, only ever wear black which don't get me wrong still a fab colour but now I'm trying to branch out I'm going for like neons and stuff like that so finally out of my you know emo phase <laughs> um, number 24 is that I must eat at least one pasta meal a day otherwise I will die and number 25 last but not least is that my favourite drink in the world is a Jaeger bomb so yeah, that has been 25 facts about me I hope that you've enjoyed watching um, let me know in the comments whether any of the facts are the same as you, whether you you can relate to any of these facts. Um, also, let me know in the comments some facts about you. And yeah, I was going to say I make new videos every Wednesday at 5, but we all know that's a lie right now. Um, at the minute, I'll do make videos on a Wednesday at 5, so if you want to see more of this, then hit that subscribe button, and then all of a sudden, I'll just surprise you with, boom, a video. Um, how surprising, how exciting, and yeah. All my social media links are in the description below if you want to follow more of me during the week when I'm not posting video. And yes, I will see you guys soon. Bye!